Good morning. It's Melinda here, and I am actually in the south of France, in the French Alps, at a place called Alp de Huez. And my husband and I are here skiing for a week. We're taking a little vacation. And yesterday was our first ski day. In fact, you can kind of see the mountains, the Alps behind me. And uh, there's, we're going to be skiing right there later today. This mountain is gigantic. It's actually five mountains in one that we get to ski. And today you can see it's a perfect sunny bluebird day. This is kind of the days that we want. It snowed all day yesterday. It's been snowing ever since we arrived. So we've got fresh powder to ski on. So I'm going to make this quick. But we had an interesting day yesterday. Yesterday was our first day on the mountain skiing. And uh, it was snowing. Now, as a skier, we love snow. What was very interesting is that it was whiteout conditions, and that means that we could not see. For the majority of the day, it was foggy and snowy, and you could not see maybe 50 feet in front of you. Made it for interesting skiing. My husband and I have never been here. We don't know the mountain. We don't know the terrain. This is only the third time I've ever skied in the Alps. So finding our way through the mountain was interesting at times to say the least. I was actually very nervous and because I because you can't see like you went a white out you're not really sure where the ground is it's called flat light you can't see the bumps or the the little turns or the puffs of powder and so you really are flying blind at a lot of different points in the day and it makes it not as fun as what today is going to be where we can see and have a great view. And while I was skiing, I actually thought of you. And I was like, wow, I'm flying blind, but I trust my equipment. I trust the system that I'm using to get me down the mountain. My boots, my skis, my poles. And about every 10 feet, they had these poles on the side of the slope so you knew where the edge was. So if all else failed, if you can't see that, you follow these poles and you follow this path. Now we also, because it was our first day, we had a guide with us. She's been here for years, she was familiar with the mountain, so she led us down the mountain and we really couldn't see, we stuck close to her and we just followed her and we trusted her because she knows this terrain. She's been skiing this for a long time, she knows her way around, so we could borrow her trust when we didn't have our own. That's another reason that I thought of you, find a guide, Find a path that you can follow and trust the systems that are in place that will get you down the mountain. It was a lot of trust yesterday in an unknown territory. And it was, well, it was daunting. It was very nerve wracking. I gotta say, yesterday was not my finer days of skiing. I skied in poor form. My legs were a little shaky by the end of the day because I wasn't trusting myself enough to have the form to get me down the mountain. And that's what happens a lot of times in business. When we don't trust ourselves because we're in unknown territory, we've never done this thing called a business before, we don't know what we're doing when it comes to setting up and launching our business and getting clients, we can lose form. And it can be uncomfortable and not fun. So, find a guide, find a path that you can follow and trust the systems that are in place and borrow their trust as you make your way down the mountain of business. All right. I gotta go hit these slopes. We got fresh powder out there. I'll see you tomorrow.